begin. Everyone's favorite point and click adventure game The Secret of Monkey Island. And I will be loading my save, but before I do, this music is too good to skip. Enjoy. Gotta pay respect to those testers. That's a lot of testers. I just saw a, a talk, a GDC talk, a Game Developers Conference talk, by uh, Monkey Island and Day of the Tentacle, or not Day of the Tentacle, Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion designer Ron Gilbert. And he was talking about um, how the first, um, how, how his first game, Maniac Mansion, actually only had one game tester. The name of that game tester he could not remember, uh, but it's you know things have changed a lot even even between Maniac Mansion and this game. So last time on Monkey Island, we sailed Undaunted off on the ship. by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. <laughs> The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, <laughs> we got a ship. <laughs> Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. <laughs> Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. <laughs> I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. <laughs> uh, I'm doomed. All right. Uh, what wizard says? Ah, the boat. I like the part on the boat. It's a pretty good puzzle. Well, we shall see, won't we? Let's um, dot all our eyes and cross all our T's here. We need to open our drawer. Let's see what's in here. Um. There's an old dusty book inside. You probably pick up the old dusty book. Let's right? see what it is. Uh, it, it is a dusty book. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for uh, Monkey Island rot. for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. <laughs> nice. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. <laughs> Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Aww. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Trademark. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was Trademark. sitting off the bow. <laughs> nice. Captain's Log, so April 4th. we probably 4th. need to pass out of 
Toothrod and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. Trademark. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Trademark. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. <laughs> and that's the last entry. Uh, well, who knows what happened to them. Um, uh, so what do we have? A bookmark. It is... It's the top of a cereal box, used as a bookmark. Ah, nice. All right, um... Anything else on the desk I can pick up? Probably this feather pen, right? And what else? This ink? Yep. Uh, is there anything in this cabinet? It seems to be locked up tight. Ah, do I have a key? Nope. Well, uh, it's an adventure game. Let's look at the bed. Doesn't want to look at the bed. All right, well, let us hit it out here. Oh, great. There's my crew. Um, I'm gonna head up here, guys. I'll deal with you later. Oh, uh, hey, what can I do? The drunken sailor. Oh, I can pick up this flag, right? Nice. I have a Jolly Roger, whatever that'll do. Uh, I'm gonna talk to these these people, slackers. Hey guys, what's happening? Beat it, guy brush. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to get you guys to help me? Uh, excuse me, guy brush. You're blocking the sun. <laughs> Unlikely. I hear the weather's pretty nice over by Monkey Island. Nice try, Guybrush, but no banana. <laughs> I'm gonna give you mutineers five seconds to come to your senses. <laughs> then, I'm gonna start kicking some butt. Excuse me, Guybrush. Does the word keelhole mean anything to you? <laughs> I see your point. Thanks. <laughs> nice. I think I'll be getting back to tending right. the ship. So, uh... This is the, um... Well, that's my thing, right? What else is on this ship? Nothing up here, is there? Um, I think there's a way to get... Cannon. Uh, what else what is on the screen? Neatness crew, cannon, door, no ladder. Oh, there is a hatch here. It's hiding behind that beam. I thought there was another day, way down. Okay. All right. So what can I do here? Nothing. Nothing. Um, go down this hatch. See what's down here. Uh, there's a giant piece of rope here. Let's pick that up. Never know when a giant piece of rope will come in handy. So I have that. Um, let's see, what else? The chest here. Let's open that. There's some very fine wine in here. Take that. I'll grab it. Thank you very much. Uh, let's have these kegs. Let's see what's in here. Wow, gunpowder! Thanks. I think I'll take some. Got some gunpowder. Okay. Uh, anything else to look at? There's a black chest. Can I open that? Uh, 
It's rusted shut. Nope. My uh, open these trunks here. They're rusted shut. Okay. Uh, looks like I've. I'm gonna open these chests, can I? They're all rusted shut. Right. Uh, okay. Well, looks like I've uh, exhausted my options here. So let's go back upstairs, and let's go uh, through here, I guess. So what can I get here? I can get a pot. And what's in the cupboard up here? Ah, I can pick up some cereal maybe. Um <laughs> Great! A toy prize inside. What is it? This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. What? <laughs> All right. Well, maybe that key um, will open the locked um, cabinet for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay. So there's a cooking pot here. Um, probably, uh, probably need to do something with that. But God knows what at this point. Um, let's go back up here and back to the captain's quarters so that we can use our uh, small key in the cabinet here. Okay, so what's in here? It looks like a very heavy metal chest. Right, but what's inside the chest? Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Ah. Well, let's look. Really? You're going to make me do everything? Hey, look, a piece of paper. What is it? And some cinnamon sticks. Yeah. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat <laughs> pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood, mmm. -hmm. One live chicken. Three ounces brimstone. One or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow eight, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. All right, well. Probably should get started on that recipe now, shouldn't I? Let's go uh, down. Or no, I don't want to go up the rope ladder. I want to go uh, down the hatch. The hidden hatch that I did not see to begin with. All right. So let's see. Um... Nice and hot. All right, so I'm guessing at least that maybe it's hot enough. Um, let's start with the cinnamon sticks. I love cinnamon. All right. Uh, let's, uh, Directions to Monkey mint. Island. Uh, let's, do I have... Yeah, my breath mints. Good thing I've got a million of these. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Directions to Monkey yeah, yeah, Island. Yeah. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Uh, human skull pressed. Ah, I do have this, uh, this, um, this flag, which is a pressed skull of sorts, right? Uh, what else? Directions to uh, Monkey squid Island. Ink. How about just ink? That'll work, right? Just a drop. Yep. Um. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to Monkey Blood. Um. Uh, 
I'm no enologist, but judging from the deep red color, this is a very fine wine. Well, deep red color, maybe, maybe this will do the trick. That should be enough. Um, let's see. Directions to Monkey Island. Chicken. Pre I do have this, uh, this uh, rubber chicken with pulley on it. About time I got rid of this worthless artifact. <laughs> Um, what else? It's, uh... Directions to Monkey Island. Brimstone. Preheat pot to 400. Mm. Well, what's, what's in the cereal? Mmm. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. <laughs> maybe, um... Yeah, maybe that'll work as brimstone. Mmm, this is going to be good. Um... Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid. Okay. Do I need to put in, like, three more mints? Good thing I've got a million of these. Good thing I've got a million of these. That doesn't seem to work. No? Good thing I've got a million of these. Okay. Um... What else? Directions to Monkey Island. All right, I put Preheat in. pot to 450 oh, degrees. Yeah. Add the following ingredients. Sweet one nice. cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood. Mmm. One live chicken. Three ounces brimstone. One or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride. Zinc oxide. Yellow 8. Mine mononitrate. And BHA. Let bubble over a low fund. Well, let's just try throwing some more stuff in here, because I don't know quite what I'm missing. Uh, let's throw in the minutes. That doesn't seem to work. We don't need we don't need those, do we? Well, I can't. That doesn't seem to work. All right. Well, let's try. Well, we might as well throw in a few T-shirts, right? Why not? Maybe that contains some of those other weird things. Um, no staples to be removed. Makes sense. Uh, that doesn't seem to work. Nope. Uh, Stan's business card. You don't need that, do you? Um, let's throw in some... Uh, I don't need this dusty book, do I? Nope. Um, I'll throw in this bookmark. That doesn't seem to work. Nope. How about the feather pen? <laughs> um, eh, who needs this key anymore, right? And, um, oh, maybe I can try some of this gunpowder. Yikes! Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Oh, well that did it, Overcome I Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass. All right, um, wakey wakey. Feel awful. So where are we? Holy monkey bladders! It's Monkey Island. <laughs> nice. All right. Um. So how do I get there? 
It's too far to walk to, and besides, I can't swim. Crew, I need you to take the ship over there. Hey, look! We've made it to Monkey Island! Let us know when you found the governor! <laughs> We've got an extra chair she can use! <laughs> Um... Hey, I found a map to Monkey Island! <laughs> so? <laughs> Alright. Yeah! So? Yeah. Jerks. Okay, so... There is a cannon, and if Guybrush is good, as, good at anything, it's getting shot out of cannons and surviving somehow. Um, I do have a pot here. I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. Okay, so I probably need to set it up first. Um, so let's start with... Um, I don't have any more gunpowder. Let's get some more, get some more gunpowder, if there is any more to be got. And, oh, shoot. Confusing. Ship with the hidden hatch. Um, the gun. Excuse me. The gunpowder was down here. So let's open up these kegs. I'll take some more. Um. And let's use the gunpowder and the cannon. Okay. Um, uh, scum powder, and I need something to activate the cannon with. Yeah, that'll work, right? Um, okay, and I need something to light it with. Uh, maybe we can get something from the kitchen. I do have a red hot fire. Uh, let's see. Can I light something on fire? Well, I don't. I threw my t shirts into the stew, so I don't have that anymore. I do have this map. Oh my, I have some fire in my inventory. Let's, uh. Let's go ahead and light that. Light that fuse. Time to get going. Ah, no. Nope. That doesn't seem to work. No. Well, let's try it again. Um, rope. And I'm gonna use the try using the pot this time. Hey, the cannon didn't go off. I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. Oh, shoot. I need more gunpowder. Okay. Uh, that's why the cannon didn't go off. Let's... Again. Down the hatch. Um, get some more gunpowder. It's a good thing that I can just carry around this I'll take some more. flaming mass as long as I want to. And use this rope here, and I can use my gunpowder here, and I can use my flaming mass with that. And I can use my Uh, well, done with part two already. That was a short one. Ah, oh, it's Monkey.
Guess they don't call this game Monkey Island for nothing. <laughs> I'm Herman Toothrot. Don't bother to say hello. <laughs> I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. <laughs> By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. <laughs> Someone could be hurt. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Um... What's there to be got? There's a banana! Yeah, what does this piece of paper say? Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. No. Oh. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. <laughs> All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. Um, let's, uh... Explore this cool island. Ah, we have this giant map here. As one might expect. In a Monkey Island game, so uh, let's get let's get exploring here. Um, sorry, I'm just uh, seeing if I can pull up a map, which is very helpful in these situations in, in these video games. The trail ends here. Uh, there's a rope. Let's get a rope. And... Ah, uh, there's a spyglass. And there's a cannon. It's rusty. Uh, anything I don't think it'll cannon? work. Nice. Well, I have a cannonball. Oh. Hey! Nice spyglass! Looks just like... Say, where is my spyglass? <laughs> oh, perfect! I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. <laughs> Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. <laughs> I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's pick up the gunpowder and the cannonball. And let's be off. Keep exploring this godforsaken island. Let's see what this is here. Boy, it sure is hot here. Oh, there's a there's a note here. Well, I'll check out this note while I'm at it. It's printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. <laughs> we must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. <laughs> 
kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. Oh, that was nice of them. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. <laughs> oh, well, that piece of information was also useful. Alright, so, what do we got here? We got a noteworthy rock. <laughs> nice plan works there. Well, I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures, <laughs> I'd say this is a piece of flint. Nice. Nice, Skybrush. A uh, geologist, huh? Um, no, we got that. We got the note. Okay. Uh, let's get going. So we got a note. Another note here. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. Nice. Nice, Herman. Uh, what is it? Oh, some primitive art, I guess. It looks more like a um, catapult to me. It's either an incisive representation of the futility of man, or it's a log and a couple of rocks. Right. Uh, let's keep, keep going, I guess. And here we are. Here with the... Ah, hi Herman. Ah, I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Why, the people watching, of course. Um, sure. My name's Toothrot. <laughs> Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh, <laughs> boy! <laughs> How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I guess I uh... trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to <laughs> Melee Island. Nice. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. <laughs> Something must have happened. <laughs> Why didn't you go with them? How come you didn't just go with the chimps? <laughs> Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! <laughs> oh, man. Well, that explains that. And yeah, I guess uh, Toothra is the guy that wrote that diary. I just made that connection because I'm slow. You're the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head hunter-gatherers, actually. Oh, great. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. <laughs> Did you lend something to the cannibals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. <laughs> it opens the big monkey head idol they worship. Not oh. like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? <laughs> no, I needed to get back my banana picker. Ah. Oh. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? So let me get this straight. If I return your banana picker, you'll probably give me that thing. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. 
Well, here I am. <laughs> Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The fine on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, <laughs> that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. <laughs> I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back, too. But I'll need to find the governor first. Oh, that's no problem. I'm sure she's on the ghost ship in the secret underground hideaway. Really? <laughs> well, how do you know this? How can I get there? Easiest way in is through the big monkey head idol. I went in there myself years ago. You'll need a key to open the thing up. I got one from some of the locals. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? <laughs> what happened to your pants? What pants? <laughs> Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I can look at things with a spyglass up here. Since I have that. Hey, I can see my ship from here. What a hunk of junk. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So, let's see, can I pick up any of these rocks? I don't think I want it. No? What would I want with a big rock? All right. So, um,. If I look through the spyglass, um, it's a little bit difficult to make this connection. But looking through the sky spyglass, what you see is where the catapult is pointing. So it's currently pointing at the ship. And I don't want to... Uh... Oh, right, so if I push the rock, it'll make the catapult go. So I want to, um, I don't want to hit the ship, I want to hit, um, I want to hit something else. I want to hit, um, wait a minute. Oh, I can't actually look at what these things are. But yeah, there's a ship and then there's something else there, and I think the other thing is what I want to, what I want to hit. <laughs> so let's, let's try, um, aiming. Um, so, it won't go further. Okay. So let's, um, see, see if that improves things. The ocean is pretty from here. Okay. And there's my ship to the right. Okay, so that pushed it the opposite way of when I wanted to go. So I go, I want to pull it two times, other direction. It won't go further. No? It won't go further. Um, the ocean is pretty from here. And there's my ship to the right.
Um, it won't go further. We can't pull it? Oh, there we go. There's my ship to the left. And the big tree on the beach to the right. Okay. Um... Let's check again. I can see that big banana tree on the beach. All right. So let's hit that banana tree. Because maybe... Then we can try to unlock the power of the... Um, Banana picker. Let's push the rock down. Launch the catapult. Hit the banana tree. Wow! Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. Nice. I bet the odds against that are incredible. <laughs> All right. So, um... I'll just put it here. All right. So. Oh, I have a note. Uh, or is it the same one that I had before? Probably. Mr. Toothrot, please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly sank a passing ship. <laughs> nice. The cannibals. <laughs> All right. Well, let's head out. Let's see, how do I get out of here? Mm. So go. Oh, here we go. Path down. Boy, it sure is hot here. Right? All right, so there's something we can do with this dam. I think we can blow it up or something. I don't see anything special about it. Um, so, use a gunpowder with the cannonball. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, use a gunpowder with the dam. All right, there we go. And let's do this. That doesn't seem to work. No? Oh, I do have a piece of flint, right? Well, cool. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. <laughs> Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. You say you got a key from the locals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. <laughs> As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. Right, I need it. It opens the big monkey head idol they worship. Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. Right. It's a matter of pride, you know. <laughs> 
but we need to get off the island, and I'm not going to leave until... Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! Well, I told you about them borrowing my banana picker <laughs> and never returning it, right? off the island more important to you than that guy? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. All right. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, look at this other note. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. <laughs> GP LeChuck. Oh, Ghost Pirate LeChuck. Alright, so what can I do? What can I do? Uh, it's a rope, an unhealthy looking man. Um... I pick up the rope. Okay. Right. Is there anything? This is my inventory. Um. No, I don't want to go back to the jungle. I want to... He doesn't look good. <laughs> Can I push him? Ick. <laughs> um, I talk to... Hi. <laughs> I'm a mighty pirate. Nice. Um, okay, so... Well, what all can I do here? Um... Doesn't look like there's anything else, I guess. So let's uh, let's keep on moving. I guess. Okay. Let's head back. Um, let's go to this crack. I don't think I've checked that out yet. Okay, um, okay, so I can use those oars to use the boat, right? So let's, um, probably gonna have to get down there with a rope. Uh, yeah, use a strong branch. Hopefully it's as strong as it says. There we go. Um, I need the second rope. Nice. All right, let's get these oars. Got him. All right. Uh, to the rowboat, I guess. Cool. I pick up more bananas. Nice. Uh, let's um, use the oars of the rowboat and get going. See, uh, see what else we can do here. I can paddle it with these oars. Cool. Um. go around here see what we can see oh, I need 
go around this nice peninsula here. Well, Guybrush, at least you're getting a good workout, am I right? Let's keep on going around. Let's look at the note here. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey Herman. Did you come in the ship I saw out there? You're braver than you look. <laughs> Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. <laughs> Stan of Stan's used ships on <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, All I've right. got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> All right. To the jungle. to the village. Mm. Uh, hey, let's get some bananas. Never have too many man bananas. Hey guys. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? <laughs> well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Um... Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and stringy. <laughs> You're of no use to us, nutritionally speaking, but... If you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... Currency means nothing to the great monkey. Obviously, you have nothing for us. We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. Great. Um. Oh, hey, there's the banana thicker. Nice. What does this say? Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. H.T. <laughs> Herman Toothrot. Oh, there's a loose board. Wouldn't you know it. I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. Oh, man. 
Oh well. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. <laughs> we are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. <laughs> well, if I have to eat any more fruit, my head's gonna turn into one big citrus. <laughs> no offense, Lemonhead. <laughs> oh, Lemonhead. Alright, so obviously I don't have everything I need for the, uh, get the, um, the thingy. By the thingy, I mean the banana picker. But I do have a bunch of bananas, so maybe I can give them, there is a monkey in here, maybe I can give them to the monkey. So where's the monkey? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, right. I thought it was being nice and had instantly transported me, but alas, it is not. glasses frames. My um, glasses frames have this issue where they wiggle. They're not they're not tight, but they're quite old and they're not very they're not very good frames, unfortunately. Ah, there's my monkey. But first I need to dock my ship at the beach here. Alright. So monkey, how'd you like some bananas? Hey, monkey. Um, <laughs> like that? Would you like this? <laughs> so gross. Well, maybe you'll do something for me, monkey. If King's Quest has taught me anything, you can give a bunch of stuff to some animals and they'll help you. And hey, the monkey's following me. I have a friend. Nice. Alright. Um, let's see. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. <laughs> That's funny. All right. GP LeChuck. Good old ghost pirate LeChuck. All right. So let's um check out. Let's 
so... Oh, I can do something with this nose. Oh, cool. So if I... Oh. Oh, monkey. Do it for me. Thanks, monkey. Cool. Oh, nice. Bunch of idols. Um... Well, I bet the one that I want is the one that... Oh, hey, there's a Salmon Max idol. Nice. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. This is much too heavy to pick up. Alright. So I'm guessing that Let that alone one... carry around this godforsaken island for god knows what reason. I guess the, um... Wimpy level up. Idol is the one that I want. And I'm guessing that's the treasure that I need to give, um cannibals. So let's row all the way back there. <laughs> Give them their their idol. The monkey's not joining me anymore. I guess he served his purpose. Okay. Um, where's my rowboat? It's over here, right? Yep, okay. So let's, yeah. Go around here. Oh man, there's a lot of rowing in this section. Can't help but feel like it's one of those weird LucasArts things that they sometimes use to stretch out the length of their games. I mean, it's not near as annoying as, like, say, the mazes in Last Crusade, but it is there and it is a little annoying. It's really nice how in, uh, on Melee Island, like, as much as I wish that you could have instantly accessed the map from anywhere instead of needing to keep walking by the scum bar and whatnot, um, that map that map was pretty easy to move around, but it is not fast by any means to row around this island. Um, and since you need to keep going back and forth between the cannibals and whatnot to beat the game, it's a little it's a little cumbersome. But who's complaining? get any closer to that thing. It might be booby-trapped. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Alright, it's a nice, um... Oh, hey. There you are. Ah, the banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. <laughs> Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? <laughs> I really like these health-conscious cannibals. Okay, so... Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Yes. Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well, all right. So you probably want this wimpy little idol, what right? What a cheap piece of mass-produced tourist crap! <laughs> On the bottom it says "Made by Lemonhead." Hey, 
say, Wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, <laughs> take a look at this. It's your idol, man. And it says, Made by Lemonhead. Just like one of mine. <laughs> we should take this to the Great Monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. Nice. All right. Well, maybe I can get the banana picker now. Um, welcome, Digital High 20. Thank you for joining the stream here tonight. Just finishing up the back half of Monkey Island here. So, uh, yeah, let's get this banana picker and give it back to Mr. Um, Herman Toothrot, if we can find him. All I want is my banana picker oh, back. There he is. But we so you get the double. They want the monkey head key back first. Mm -hmm. Ha! That'll be... Hey, thanks. <laughs> I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Okay. So, time to go and get into the monkey head. And save... Uh, the governor of Melee Island from LeChuck. First, we must row all the way around the island once again. Because this is the secret of Monkey Island, the game of giant maps, apparently. side of melee or uh, monkey island okay so, monkey head clearing just up here you can't just dock your boat wherever you want on the island. You can only do it, um, you can only do it when you're at a beach, which means that you need to walk through parts of the island that you already had passed on your rowboat, but that's okay. Um, okay, so let's, uh, I'm guessing I need to use this your swab the monkey's ear, right? Nice. Alright, let's save the game. It's been a while. Actually, I don't think I've saved once since uh, I started. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, back into this giant monkey head to save the governor. We've made it. I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms. Alright, so... This is kind of a cool looking... Cool looking environment. I can dig it.
I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Um... Well... Um... Oh boy. So... Well, the candles did say they'd help me. If I needed to find my way through anywhere on the island. So, maybe that means I need to... Go all the way back... To the cannibals. Ask them for some help. It's too bad I didn't just meet them here. That would have been really nice. But, yeah. What you gonna do? Okay. So, back to the rowboat. So I can row all the way back here. And then all the way to the other side of the cannibals. Talk to them. Have them help me through LeChuck's cave. Find LeChuck. Kill LeChuck. Well, I guess I can't kill him because he's a ghost, but somehow dispense with LeChuck in one, by one means or another. Save Governor Elaine Marley. Get the hell out of here. Simple, right? So this is the not-so-fun part. We're going all the way around the shitty peninsula here. I was just on... Oh wait, I can... Oh, man, I'm dumb. I can launch... I can, uh, lodge my ship there. Oh well. Guess I know for next time I play this game. Or next time I need to go back to the, uh... To that clearing, I can just lodge my ship at the beach right there. I'll need to do soon enough, enough I'm guessing. Okay. So we'll dock this ship. Walk into the jungle. village. Hey guys. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Yes, I have. Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? <laughs> I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? Trademark. We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Trademark. Well, the only civilized people. <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> uh, hmm. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. Oh, yeah. Those guys. <laughs> then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs. Wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism done with it. So why don't you do that now? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. <laughs> Where is he hiding him? He's in a place beneath this island somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. 
a hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. <laughs> Can't you just go down there and kick him out? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. <laughs> and until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. <laughs> I'm off to find the chuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without them. Hey, Ixnay on the Edhay of the Avigator Nay. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Why are you guys talking in Pig Latin? <laughs> I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. <laughs> we could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Oh, man. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well. Okay, so. What can I offer them? It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. No. Oh. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. <laughs> we could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Nice. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Well, thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? <laughs> we keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you! <laughs> Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost-dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. All right. Well, time to go and uh, banish LeChuck forever. Now that I have this cool head. Hmm. Can I talk to the head? Hello, Mr. Navigator. Hello. <laughs> nice. All right. So let's uh, go back down to the peninsula, which I found out that I can cut a little bit of time off my trip by docking with the sh ship there if I want to. So I will soon be finished with Monkey Island 1. Um, I think the next game that I'm going to play is uh, Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. But I'm not sure if I want to start that tomorrow or not, because if I do start it tomorrow... Oh, hey. 
There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law. Regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. <laughs> I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Alright. Well, can I... It's a gross old bottle. Okay. I don't want it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go and, uh... Check out the monkey head. Hopefully it'll help lead me to the ghost pirate LeChuck. All right. So, Mr. Mr. Uh, head, where should I go? You're not gonna, you're not gonna tell me. All right. Well, let's. Uh, Go over here and then check it out, perhaps. All right. I think it wants me to go to the right. Okay. I think it wants me to go to the right. Forward. I think it wants me to go to the front. Yeah, you can kind of see it, right? Um... I think it wants me to go to the left. I can't go to the left. There it is. Okay, so I have found LeChuck's ship. Let's save the game. And so I don't think I'm going to be able to get on the ship um, without the ghost necklace. So let's put on that necklace. You can't have it. It's mine. You can't have it. It's mine. All right, let's talk to him. See if we can get, get him to give it up. Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. <laughs> Oh, come on, please. 
You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. <laughs> Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. <laughs> Pretty, pretty, please? You can beg all you want, but you can't <laughs> have it. Pretty, please, with sugar on top? <laughs> oh, all right, you big baby. You can have it. Nice. Hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? That's a good point. <laughs> so creepy. All right, let's use... Uh, put on the nut. This feels weird. Cool. Well, I'm guessing I can go on the ghost ship now. Well, Wizard says, I got it by threatening to drop kick him into the lava. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> I didn't realize that you could uh, get it by threatening him. Well, this is kind of cool. I'm here on the ship with all these cool ghosts, including a ghost dog. Hey, what a cute little ghost dog. Ah, Chuck. that key. Right? Who dares to enter the cabin of the ghost pirate LeChuck? You'd better fear! Um... Well... How am I gonna get that thing? What do I have? Fear for thy life, ye who enters. Okay, I can't even... The ship sounds strange in these waters. Can't even really get him to look at it. Um... Hmm... Can I use anything on it? Oh, I guess I do have a magnet. Nice. Alright. I have this key. Um... Can I open the chest? Probably not. Who dares okay. to enter the cabin of the ghost pirate Nechuk? Hmm, huh, must be the wind. Okay. Um. Let's keep moving around the ship. Oh, there's a hatch here. Check that out. Um. Sleeping ghost. Let's look at the sleeping ghost. He looks sound asleep. Yep. Thanks for clarifying that. It's just an opening. There's no door. All right. So, um. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. Can I get in the... Nice. Uh, but I also have this glowing crate. Can I open it? I can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. <laughs> oh, great. Well, I do need that root. Um... Can I take one of these ghost chickens? Or one of these ghost pigs? I can't pick that up. How about a ghost chicken? All I got was a feather. Oh, well. Um, okay, so... Let's 
go down the hatch. Um, there's a large rat. That's the biggest ghost rat I've ever seen. Okay, I'm guessing. Probably want something from here. Like maybe this cooking grease. Yikes! I hate rats. But first, we need to take care of the rat. We need to poison his dish. Something. Probably something I don't have. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, alright, well, let's, uh, see if I missed anything. Oh, there is a bottle of grog here. Can I... I'm guessing it's grog, at least. I can't get it away from him. Um... Oh. What if I... Let's try tickling. Okay, let's take that jug of grog. Use it to poison the rat. Okay. It's interesting that they have a pet rat down here. Alright. So let's get some, uh... Ugh, it's all over my hands. But I do have some. A nice big glob of grease there. Back out to the passage, back up here. See what else what else there is to find. Um Alright. Let's uh, go through here. Oops. What was that? I guess that's what I need the grease for. Alright, so let's um... This should stop it from squeaking. Cool. Let's go in. Alright, more locks and more keys. Um... Can I... Oh, can I pick up these ghost tools? Oh, good, more inventory. <laughs> always good. Um, alright. Oh, hey. I can probably use these to open that glowing crate. Uh, so why don't I do that before I before I forget. Or it's not like I can do anything else anyways probably, because that guard is guarding the door. So let's use the tools on this crate. Mm, this should do it. <laughs> I'll just grab this old root and be on my way. Cool. <sighs> Alright, well, I guess I gotta give this root to the cannibals now. Um, all the way back. To the cannibal place. What was root says, man, not having to make animations for this part must have been really nice. Indeed. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. Oh, that was merciful of them. <laughs> I did it! I got the root! Wow! Look, he's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all! Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we'll be right back. What? It's a three-headed monkey. Nice monkey. <laughs> there it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. 
And if you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Huh, Good no. luck. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Time to head back, I guess. After some more furious paddling. Eep! You scared me half to death! <laughs> um, well, the ship. What happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. What wedding? LeChuck is marrying the governor of Melee Island. Oh, no. What? But how will they... Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. Oh no! They're headed there. I have to go all Melee the way back Island? to Melee Island. Guybrush. Oh no! I give up. I give up. I'm tired of chasing them everywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't give up now. <laughs> what kind of a hero are you anyway? You're right. Nice. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. Oh, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. Bob! Hi, Bob! <laughs> Hi, guys! See, Bob, you're looking a little pale. <laughs> well, naturally, I'm pale. How did you get in here without using the head? <laughs> what? Well, well, I mean, that is, you don't seem to have a head, and... <laughs> What? <laughs> um, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that was a good moment. <laughs> you guys know this shambling see-through shade? The one with the slippery grip on his head? You've got to get over this obsession with heads, Threepwood. <laughs> We've got to get back to Melee Island. No kidding. Yeah. We're out of sunscreen. Come on, let's go. See you, Bob. Well, bye, Bob. All right. Here I am. The harrowing conclusion of The Secret of Monkey Island. Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. <laughs> That's good. I wish those guys hadn't been so excited about getting sunscreen. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by my- Yikes! Hey! Wait a second! <laughs> I'm selling this fine mouthwash. Is it mint-flavored? I only like the minty kind! <laughs> cool! I like how root beer is the, uh... Is the secret killing ghosts. it seems to be filled with some carbonated fluid okay time to try and keep fighting some goose excuse me <laughs> do you have an invitation to the wedding this is my invitation why yes I do may I see it please <laughs> Sure, it's right here in this seltzer bottle. <laughs> I like how this they stuff's just great. stand there while you're shaking it up. Watch out, LeChuck! It's pretty good. There's a new sheriff in town and his name... Hey, I better get to the church. Yep. Get going, man. There be any man with reason that <laughs> these two uh, people <laughs> should not be united in blissful matrimony. Let him speak now or forever hold 
his peace. The groom isn't a gentleman. <laughs> hey, who's that? You. Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin. Take what? Are you trying to bribe me? <laughs> Governor. Governor. Governor? What's going on? Oh, guy brush, you mad fool! <laughs> I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? But... I thought LeChuck was going to marry you. <laughs> yes, so did I. Yes, so did he. But I arranged for a little surprise when it came time to kiss the bride. How did you manage to escape? Oh, that was easy. LeChuck is a bozo. Hey! <laughs> And lots of his crew members were friends of mine, when they were alive. If you're here, then who's that in the dress? Nice. What? Oh, don't scare them. They have my ghost sack and root beer bottle. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Oops. <laughs> oh, nice going, Guybrush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer uh, back. Guybrush. But... I... Well... Hey! You dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity. Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! You'll never menace decent, tangible pirates again, you billowing bag of... of... of something that begins with B. <laughs> uh, now, hold on a minute there, friend. I was only kidding, you know. You can settle this like gentlemen. Oh no! <laughs> it's jammed! Pocket lint. <laughs> um, say now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, I like, uh, Lechuck's giant fist. Good to see you, son. How's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. <laughs> Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the instant replay is a nice touch. What wizard says, I like his giant fist as well. Well.
<laughs> Yay! Machaka's dead. Hey! Yikes! Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Sorry. Nice callback. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. <laughs> Can I buy you a root beer? Sure. And there's more at Stan's. Oh gosh, I hope Stan's okay. <laughs> Poor guy. You know, I completely forgot about Herman Toothrot. Now I wonder where my pirate friend has got oh, no, to. Oh poor Herman. I certainly hope he didn't leave without me. <laughs> yeah, at least I learned something from all this. What's that? Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. A what? I don't know. I'm not sure why I said that. <laughs> oh man, that is such a classic. So good. So that was Secret of Monkey Island. Only only the greatest game of all time. You get to see the cast here. I'm guessing these are the voice actors. You know, as far as uh, follow-ups to Loom go, this was really good. Really, really good. Um, and yeah, I mean, this this is obviously like a very defining game for for Lucas Arts and for the adventure game genre generally. I would say um, after this, you get a lot of other really great LucasArts classics that are totally, I think, pretty similar, like Sam and Max, Hit the Road, um, Full Throttle. I mean, Full Throttle's a little different, but Sam, certainly Sam and Max, Hit the Road, Day of the Tentacle, um, and of course the follow-ups to Monkey Island all kind of have that absurd, absurdist sort of sense of humor, uh, with a little bit of just kind of... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. All of all of the LucasArts games from here on out kind of tend to emphasize these wacky puzzles that um, rely, rely tend to rely very heavily on puns, um, and sometimes sometimes kind of the wordplay element of these games gets uh, gets LucasArts into trouble or, or gets um, gets the games into a little bit of trouble design wise, um, at least for modern sensibilities. I personally really like wordplay puzzles. Like, I really liked um, uh, the fact that you needed to give give the troll a literal red herring. Um, there's a there's a puzzle in, um, and that's that. By the way, that's a puzzle that I think is is largely maligned among um, modern gamers. And then there's also um, a puzzle in the second game that you'll see when I once I play the second game, where um, you need to use a monkey as a monkey wrench. Um, and that's another puzzle that gets flying a lot. But yeah, I mean, those kinds of, like, kind of absurdist wordplay puzzles I think are a lot of fun, and it's kind of, kind of becomes LucasArts' bread and butter after this from here on out, for better or worse. And, um, yeah, I think this game set up a really good, a really good standard. Good model. Um, just shut down your computer and go to sleep. I will soon, I will soon. Um, 
yeah, and I think it's something that LucasArts just kept on improving on as, as they kept making adventure games, and um, I think we'll get to see that play out, and I'm really excited to see that play out as I go through some more of the adventure games from the 90s with y'all. So, um, I haven't quite decided whether or not I'm going to stream tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Um, Normally I would, but um, like I said, tomorrow would be my last day of streaming, and then I would be taking a week off after that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I really have anything quite like bite-sized to play um, that I could finish in a day, because I, I'd really hate to start Monkey Island 2 and then leave you hanging on that for an entire week. Um, well, more than a week, really. It would be like 10 days or something like that. Um, Although I guess I did leave you hanging on this for six days. So we'll see. Um, I might stream tomorrow, I might not. But I will definitely be back, not this Monday, but a week from this from this Monday. So I'll be back in about a week and a half, um, or tomorrow. And we'll have more uh, fun adventure games and fun Spelunky playing. So thank you for joining me tonight. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you later. <laughs>